morning uh morning updates i know from shit talking wanker it's true that was lexi sal wasn't it from the young ones shit talking wanker i'm sure i'm sure it was what did i wake up thinking today well first of all i didn't have any dreams so i can't report anything from the after which is annoying for me um i was thinking though yesterday meg my son's girlfriend gave me two boxes of alpen because apparently he bought it and then won't eat it because it's not sweet enough I was like, <laughs> what can I say I also have those choices in life I can get rid of this because it's not sweet enough I said well do you know what I don't mind to be honest um I have it I used to have a fruit juice on I don't normally eat alpen anymore or buy it because it has milk in it it always has done and I'm vegan, but I've taken it anyway because uh, the Taoist thing, partly, um, it was given to me. So in the mindful way of eating, I can eat it, theoretically. Well, I can eat it anyway. Um, but the I trust this whole thing, don't I? Did you know this, this Taoist thing of sometimes I'll just take it. And I was wondering if the milk protein is going to have some sort of uh it has a binding effect doesn't it and because i don't normally have it i just wondered if like from a dietary perspective i was talking about this recently wasn't i the umbrella effect of things and moving things around it came up yesterday about um uh what's it called like a spa like a what it did anyway in my um in my luminati tarot about like a like a detox thing and she said about like a mud treatment, and Meg had said about using Alpen as mud, mud. You can use it to make mud cake, like a chocolate cake. Well, because I'd said to her, I was trying to say to her about using, finding different ways to use it. If she didn't want to get rid of it, like making flapjacks and things like that, you could do this or put it into cakes. Um, but I'd had wondered if the milk protein is going to have some sort of binding effect on, I don't know, whatever other things I've got going on in my system with this whole you know what research thing that we're doing at the moment and I was thinking again about like false negatives on other tests that I've had come back from the from the doctors over the years for different reasons as you knew um mostly you know why <laughs> exactly you're not very trustworthy people, love you. It's true. And you like doing your research. And um, there's... Oh, do you know what? I've got to keep a secret for at least a month. That comes up every five minutes. So I'm not telling you all my secrets either. But the point is, we said about blind testing. So do you know what? That's what we're doing. But anyway, so I was thinking about that this morning. Partly, I was thinking about it a bit yesterday, about the milk proteins. That had come up yesterday, hadn't it? About binding... Is it binding with RH rhesus positive and negative bloods i can't remember do you know a lot of that didn't go in either but um we were going down that route of um and i'd said about something binding didn't i i think it was rhesus was binding and that was to do with oh god well genetics i suppose and um different viruses being treated in different ways because of the different ways that things bind in different what <laughs> you know what i mean and then the s gene as well i need to go back and read over what the s gene does why did that come up <sighs> you've all seen um basically when i was walking around they just <sighs> Do you know Sherlock, that old... This is basically how to explain that squying thing that Sherlock, the old one with the startled you person in it. I've forgotten his name. Cumberbatch. Everyone used to call him a startled you, didn't they? He looks like a startled you. It's like, well, if you say so. <laughs> anyway, when in that, just as an example, he'd look at things and they'd sort of glow up, wouldn't they? And that's how he'd do his clue thing. It was a bit like that. Basically, I was walking the dog yesterday. And this happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but it is a thing. Things trigger things, don't they? Trigger, I suppose, that's the best way of thinking. You look at something, it will trigger a thought pattern. So first of all, I was walking, and there's this car that says Emu on it, and I've seen it before, the number plate's Emu, 
and I just looked at that and I thought, okay, I wonder where where can we take that? So I was thinking Rod Hull, so that's RH. So I Googled RH Rhesus. And I know Rhesus is a thing anyway, but I just needed to like get that back in my head what it was. Um and then something else I thought there was another I'd already done Jean before that. Maybe a Jean's already going around my head. There was something that had already started it off anyway, on that walk. I was pondering something. Um and then there was a sign a like an estate agent sign and the S was the first one. It was for sale actually, that's why it was. And so it was S Jean. I'll just what is the S Jean? I I was thinking about DNA, maybe the other night in the smoke, you know, the white smoke that comes, DNA threads and things like that. So that has sort of come up and we've been discussing different things like typhoid and blah 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 different things recently. So that's why the S gene, the S gene or receptor had come up. I've not read over it because the battery went on my phone. Um, but there was a relevance to it. And often I think I just post things and it'll trigger. I saw the other day that researchers, funding for researchers left the UK. Maybe it's going to come back again. Dandelions, how did that come up? Well, the dog took shit <laughs> yesterday in the bike pub. And it was a bit loose. So I was just thinking, oh, God, has she got parvo as usual? I doubt she has. I think it's blue and bread. And the next thing I saw was dandelions growing up the side. Now, they look really healthy. And um, um, I mean, just literally as I looked one way to the other. And... Um, well, they're local, aren't they? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, they looked healthy. And you, the same sort of thing, anyway. They glowed. They they showed themselves. They uh, they sort of stood out from the, the rest of the everything, the background, everything else going on. They sort of had a, a luminance, I suppose. That's the word, maybe. <laughs> so I was just then thinking, because I know candy lines are diuretic. Wet the bed, isn't it? You pick them, you wet the bed. They're called wet the bed. Um... And I also know, because this has been talked, feed a cold, starve a fever. This is an old and days thing, isn't it? So feed a cold. If you've got a cold, basically, you eat a lot. Um, and the reason for this is because it pushes the virus through with the, with the waste, partly, isn't it? Because somebody said this to me before when I had a cold and was down the pub and everyone had some cold thing going around. Because yeah, you always eat those when you've got a cold and then you shit and it all comes out. Well, you know, basically, that's it. You pass it through quicker. So, you know, if you get diarrhoea, if you've got a bug, it's to push out the virus, isn't it? Et cetera, et cetera. So, if you... Increase bladder function. You're flushing things through. You have to drink more. But is um, I know viruses are different, aren't they? Um, virus and... Oh, God, I... I don't really know. Virus and bacteria are different, aren't they? Is that right? Or is it the same thing? So flus, because one you can treat with antibiotics and the other you can't. But we were going on about this in the dogs, in the dog book recently. So with a fever, you have to starve it because, so that's a, it's the other one anyway, isn't it? <laughs> You're good enough for an idiot. <laughs> because of the stress on the, um, I don't know, liver or whatever it was. I can't remember from the Juliet Levy book, which is up there. Which is why often if you're on like intravenous, that's a stress on the body anyway. It's to do with the temperature. Well, they said about the temperature. Oh, God, I can't remember anyway. So. But what have I done yesterday? I ate, what did I eat? It's going to be to do with the different effects as well, like the chemical compounds of different things. Um, also, the white. What do I call it? The white speedwell. I saw some growing with some glassy lines up the road. I think. There was no flowers on it, but it was a similar sort of leaf. Um, but the effects of different things were different things. And I saw the dead nettles as well, which made me wonder if they were, if it's something in, in those two plants that you need to, uh, what's it called? Isolate, I suppose. And then it's that the thing that needs to be isolated in those two plants to be used as the 
whatever it is to treat the thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're both used, apparently, according to your lying Google tactics, to um, to treat resp- upper respiratory problems, tract things, which avian flu is going to attack, isn't it? All the, all the other antibiotic-resistant things that are going on in India at the moment. I don't know what they are. I just read that banner so maybe maybe it's worth looking down those routes people science people to get some funding back in the uk now everyone's fled shut the gates (laughs) shut the gates and get the drones around 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 the perimeter of the country and we'll do our own research i'm joking but um so it was along those lines really what I was thinking this morning. What else? Oh, yeah, I was wound up again about you-know-who. <sighs> Nessie, sitting out top shot that time and uh, looking at the posters and her going, no, because we oh, were going about the posters in top shop. Well, this is old. They, top shop doesn't even exist anymore. And um, she was going on about objectification of women. I said, well, look at these posters. Um, do you know, these? they just do this... You know, the certain positioning, I forgot what it's called in um, uh, marketing, media and marketing, provocative poses like pseudo sexual posing, like touching the mouth and things, and um, selling the idea of looking like these nymph like creatures if you buy these clothes. It's a marketing strategy. And she goes, No, they're not, they just look pretty. It's like, I'll do what I'll punch you in the face. I hate you so much. I can't even bear to have a conversation with you. Can't you just say, Yeah, I know. Oh, God's sake. So I started off, I was wound up by that to start with. Um, they just look pretty. Well, I suppose they do. They do just look pretty. Well, I suppose that's just a... Uh, what is it? Your idea of what pretty looks like. What's that What's that word? Your... It's a concept of pretty. Everyone's got a different idea of what pretty is, haven't they? People say Dolly looks pretty all the time. I'm fucking pretty ugly. So I would never have chosen her. I mean, I do think she's lovely. I love her. I think she's she's got a sort of stagnant <laughs> attraction. <laughs> I like, I love her. She's, she's statuesque. I don't think she's pretty. I thought Lexi was pretty. I'm just saying it as a, like as a, an explanation of people's different people's ideas of what attractive or pretty is i thought lexi was pretty lexi was pretty to me she just had a soft softer cut she was more visually appealing to me with those pretty eyes she had like little eyes you know she was a fuckhole though she's a fucking idiot she was pretty people used to say she's pretty come up to her and then get bitten in the face well she is pretty yeah but you know what she's (laughs) she's pretty good at teaching people how to behave around dogs I say, yeah, a lot of people say, oh, Dolly, she's pretty, isn't she? I say, yeah, pretty naughty. But she is, she's pretty good at being my dog. But pretty, though, she's just pretty. She is pretty. I do think she's pretty. I don't think she's ugly, but she's just, we have this. <laughs> we have, look at her. I know, she is born with a diamond crown. Look, it is a diamond. Her diamond tiara. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about those lab antics. What's my hatred towards labs? Well, I don't hate them at all. I don't hate them. I just like playing with media. It's playing with me. It's trying to trigger me into reacting. I don't mind reacting, though. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter if I kick off about a lab post. Labs are topped the top of the crown. I don't care. They'll get some health conditions probably next. They've already got them. I don't know if they have or not. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter one bit. What does Labrador mean, anyway? Lab. Adore. I don't know. It's to do with love, maybe. J'adore. Lab. J'adore. Lab door. I don't know. The door to the laboratory. Could be anything. (sighs) 
Snoopy was a bigger one, no, maybe it's to do with that. Peanuts, it was peanuts or something. They were giving you peanuts, monkey nuts. Linus. Charlie Brown. In his radio wave top. Back to that again. I love Snoopy. I had a Snoopy money box when I was a kid. I want another one. Oh my God, I'm going to tell you now, when I get paid, after I go and give him some money to this other man for my son, <laughs> I've seen some such nice pyjamas in Sainsbury's there's three sets that I want well there's more than that actually they're so nice <sighs> they are so nice I'm tempted to get three sets which is really greedy and there's more that I want I don't need three sets but I'm telling you now which ones I'm definitely going to get the Bambi ones I love them um, I don't know what other ones to get they're so nice though I'm telling you all to rush to Sainsbury's and get some of these new pyjamas. You don't have to. You might not like them, but the Bambi ones are so cute. And the Snoopy ones are nice. They're all nice. It's really hard to choose. So I'm going to think I'm going to get those two and the Christmas ones that look like Christmas wrapping paper because I like to have something a little bit Yule-like for my, for my Christmas bed. I'll put my bunny rabbit sheets on. And... Um, <sighs> that's good, isn't it? So that's one slightly childish thing. Well, that looks like an egg, a boiled egg. Loz. <laughs> Maybe she does. Overreacts, though. Overreacts. Um, that was funny, though, from what I read of it. If I get these knickers in the bin, I'm gay. That was funny. And the stars, and they, they all said she's coming out as gay. Probably. She's probably true. Probably is true. <laughs> oh, my neck's really hurting. My neck's really hurting. <sighs> I've had mo uh, Alpen for breakfast with pineapple juice on. Oh, yeah, that's what I was getting around to saying in the long way round, how different things react with different things. So yesterday when I was walking around, I'd had, I did eat some dandelion leaves and I also ate this purple, now I can't think what it's called. Um, it, it may have been dead nettle, something similar to dead nettle, but purple one. Um, and it was really bitter, but I'd already had the dandelion first. So it's like the reaction of different things to different things. And the dosing, I mean, I just had things and then no, or no, I say no. I just decide what I don't want anymore. It's like, I've, I've dosed enough of this. So to dose other people and to dose yourself is a completely different ball game, isn't it? So, and then the, the way the different things react with the different things, in the different things. You know what I mean. How did I get to uh, Hemlock in the coffee? The dog yesterday three times stopped to sniff at a plant, which may be cow parsley, but that cow, cow parsley and Hemlock look very similar. Um, uh, and you know I'm a medium <laughs> so she was first of all she stopped and sniffed this hemlock and then she started chewing the grass it's like okay what are you saying here I don't really know what she was saying to be honest is it a worm it has been used as a worm possibly um, and then there's a the whole pampas thing isn't it um I thought before about the, the coffee was dosed with hemlock a while back. I had that dream, didn't I, about um, Bromley's ex or housemate in the, the coffee shop doing something, fucking me up in the coffee shop. And he, he, but other Bevan grew hemlock in his garden. Um, but then when she was playing with the wubba, she dropped it three times by this, well, cow parsley. Um, but I'd already, like, spirit connected it as hemlock. And there was a Nero's cup 
there as well and she kept dropping the wobble by these different things and only because she did it before when she took the toy outside and dropped it uh by the dock when we were doing antihistamines so and um, i was just tuned in on the i was just in the crystal method it's, it's true <laughs> i was my um what's it called my familiar was just you know what? You know what? Maybe something, maybe nothing. But maybe nothing, or maybe something. It's not the only way the spirits could connect with me. Just one of them. You want me to come over? I've got an excuse. <laughs> today well i'll tell you actually i didn't do it last night when i came home from sainsbury's for my four pounds i was going to do one of those i love doing that this is what i bought for my four pounds this is what i've managed to get and this is how i'm going to eat and what i'm going to do with it so what i got there was two packets of like soup mix stuff reduced to 10p each one was just like i think like carrots onion and i don't know what like a soup base basically 10p though i put it back twice and i thought do you know what i'm gonna at the end, I just decided to get it with my last 60p to make soup. So there's like... And then the other one had potatoes in it. So I'm going to make some soup. I've got a thing of tomato puree for 35p and a tin of kidney beans for 35p with my last pound to make soup, basically. Um, that'll make a massive pound of soup. Well, enough for me to last. Uh, i got two tins of baked beans, a loaf of bread that was one pound twenty but i like the bread that was that white loaf which i don't normally have but um i'm just doing this whole thing at the moment i've got a little person coming today so we might want beans on toast um and i'm making some soup um i think i've got that's it oh no and a packet of digestive biscuits as well they do like cheap i got one yesterday cheap 45p ones that don't have milk in um, I really want some dark chocolate ones yesterday, but they had milk in, so I didn't get those. It's like, mm, I'll just get these other ones with no dark chocolate. Why do you have to put milk in dark chocolate? You don't have to, you just turn to be a spiteful bitch. <laughs> Why do you have to do it? Why do you have to do it? Anyway, so I got that, um, and a packet of porridge. I haven't had that for ages, so because I can have porridge with grated apple again, can't I? And a smashed banana. Um, I can do it. I can do what I want. But so that's what I got, which and that's what I got for my four pounds, which I should be at a stretch through until Thursday when I start the next stretch through thing. So the other thing is I got a little person to when I was eating the muesli I had to have some yesterday at her house and she had a taste of that which is good. It's just again it's the just trying new things isn't it and she also had some sunflower seeds which I picked out the garden with the shells and everything which I'm forcing myself to eat but it's fibre isn't it that keeps coming up fibre fibre fibre. Um... Fibre, fibre, fibre. I hate sunflower seeds. When I was, well, why do you have to eat the shells as well? I only want the inside bits. It's like, well, do you know what? Sometimes you have to eat the shells as well, don't you? Sometimes you have to eat the shells as well. 
witch's face. <laughs> they are called witch's face, aren't they? What the hell is this shit? Witch's face, mate. Eat them. It's good for you. <laughs> That's all I can think of saying. Octaves. I know that's the word. It's something to do with the octaves. But it's a whole thing at the moment, isn't it? The whole the whole diamond. The whole diamond for the crystal method. The whole crystal method that we're doing at the moment with radios. Octaves. See Dolly's crown again. She was crowned. She was crowned prince when she she was born in the womb. 